Hi everybody, it's Miss Michelle from the library, coming to you again from home. Today is Monday, April 19th, and that means it's the start of National Library Week. And to celebrate, we have lots of fun and interesting things planned for the whole week, for the whole family. So be sure to check out our Facebook page, um, as well as other social media, and especially our website, mtpl.org, for all of the cool stuff we have planned for you. I'm here to talk to you today about a project that's near and dear to my heart, and that is 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten, also known as the Rubber Ducky Book Club. The 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten program is an ongoing early literacy program open to families with children ages birth through six or when of six or whenever they start kindergarten. We have had over 600 families enroll in this program over the last few years. 45 families and their children have completed the 1000 Books Challenge. And I just found out something so cool just the other day that all of these families combined have read over 100,000 books. You heard me right, 100,000 books. So our 1K group has hit the 1K mark. I've been waiting for this for so long and it seems like it finally happened and that made me so happy. So those of you enrolled, keep on reading and logging your books and then when we're together, you're going to get all of your cool prizes. For those of you who may not know about this program, it's just a fun way to um, for families to read together and to start reading with your children from a really early age. We call it the Rubber Dookie Book Club because, well, so we have a bunch of cool prizes. So you'll get prizes for the books that you log. And we have things like, I have some stuff here. We have these, these cups that say Star Reader. We have things like clapping hands and squishy balls. We have stickers for every time you read, reach a 100 mark. And then the reason that it's called Rubber Ducky Book Club, well, because we have story times for our group, but Rubber Ducky because for every 50 books that you read, you get to pick out from our surprise bin any one of a number of really cool rubber duckies. So if you're not a part of this group, you might want to consider joining. It's open to everyone, not just Middletown residents. So spread the word and you can do this from home and I'll just show you really quick how to do that. You go to our website, mtpl.org, you click on the kids zone and then you'll just see right here the 1000 books before kindergarten logo and you just click on there you could make your account it's really super simple and then you just start logging your books and then when we're all together again you can pick out your ducks and all of your other prizes so that's the 1000 books before kindergarten rubber ducky book club and i just thought it would be nice to share a little story time today for those of you who are part of the group and even everybody else. So siblings or friends, or those of you who don't know about the club, this is the kind of stuff we do at the library. And today I'm going to read one of my favorites, maybe yours too, if you could see that. And I'm also wearing the shirt that goes with it. It says love, but we have our friend, the hungry caterpillar right there. So this is the very hungry caterpillar who makes his way through the week doing what? Eating because he's very hungry. So this is one of my favorite books. It's just so beautiful and colorful it's by Eric Carl, one of my favorite authors. This particular book turned 50 last year. We actually had a little party to celebrate. And I'm just gonna try to position this and we're gonna read along. I'm sure most of you know this. So it will just be really fun to read this along together. And here we go. I'm going to get out of the picture so you can see the book. 
In the light of the moon, a little let egg lay on a green leaf. There it is. And there is the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. And there he is. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two, Pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but guess what? He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries, but what do you think? He was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, and guess what? He was still hungry. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one piece of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he wasn't hungry anymore, but he had a stomach ache. Oh no. So on Sunday, the next day, that caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. And now he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon and he hid himself and stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and what do you think happened once he went into the cocoon and nibbled his way out? <gasps> he wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at all of those beautiful colors. And that is the story of The Very Hungry Caterpillar, one of my favorite books and maybe one of yours too. So it was so nice to join you today for the start of National Library Week. As I said, just keep an eye out for all of the great things we have planned for this week. And I can't wait to see you again soon for another story time. Have a great day. Bye.